The Nintendo Entertainment System, released in 1981 in Japan, 1983 in the U.S., and 1987 in the, well, in Europe, yeah, in Europe, um, it had plenty of notable games, some of them being Mario, Donkey Kong, and things like that. It was an 8-bit console. It's still good for its time, though. Very good for its time. The SNES was released Well, I'm glad I didn't upload that original one because my information was still wrong. The Nintendo Entertainment System, released in 1980 in Japan, 1982, I believe, in the US, and 1983 in Europe. In Japan, it was known as the Famicom. Very good games for its time, like Mario and. Donkey Kong. Um, it was an 8-bit console, so it's still pretty good, but nothing like what you saw in, or what you see today in today's games and things like that. Um, the SNES was a little bit better, a 16-bit console. Um, it had several noteworthy games like the um say oh not say um super mario World, this is amanda waller donkey kong you have been recruited for a Brothers, classified task force x mission things like that you'll be working with members of the suicide and squad it ran until on all objectives are complete flat out i advise you to stick to the mission you had to cram a game all on one cartridge and the cartridges didn't have that much memory either so that didn't help anything with developers. Um, next was the N64, which was a good console. It started up the um, 64-bit versus 16-bit war between Sega and Nintendo. And that was the... It still went on cartridges, which is pretty stupid on Nintendo's part. But it did give us the games that we have today. Um, the Nintendo. Oh, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned this already, but it still ran on cartridges. You kids need a lesson. And let's see. The Nintendo GameCube actually went away, they did away with the cartridges. And stuck with. Well, went with more of a. Let me guess. You're the bad guy. And what we more of the small disc things. I don't even remember what they're called, but the developers still hated them. Because, you know, they were. You still had to compare the file type and a whole bunch of other things. And the games were pretty good. Um, if I remember correctly, Ultimate Spider Man and a few models, and Luigi's Mansion and a few games like that came out on the GameCube. And some games like that. Um, the Wii. Oh my gosh. The Wii didn't really, from what I knew, didn't have much of, from what I know, didn't have much third party support. And what little they had, it was mostly shovelware. Um. The only really good games for the Wii were Nintendo exclusives. Like Wii Sports and things of that nature. But even they were pretty bad. Um, Nintendo said it was innovative, and it was in a way. I mean, Sony Too rough for ya? and Microsoft copied off of it with the Kinect and uh, PlayStation Move. So, I guess in a way, it kind of was innovative.
um, the Game He's Boy. Than you look and run. Still used cartridges. And actually, the first one really didn't have any color. It was all black and white. As far as I know, aside from the cartridge thing, it was a good console. I never really played one, so I don't have much of an opinion on that. Um, the Game Boy Color, I saw, I played a little bit, well actually I didn't play it, but I have seen a few, and from what I remember, you had to literally hold them under a window just to get them to actually work in color, and, um, still use cartridges, and probably Game Boy, but was, yeah. Okay, I mean, you didn't have to hold it under the light to get some color on the thing, so Justice that was will be served. But... Cha! On the downside, I'm pretty sure it's still used to cartridge. And... That's kind of what's hard. You do no crime doesn't pay. And then DS systems come out, which are doing very well, actually. And last but not least, I wasn't going to bring this up, but... The Virtual Boy. Uh, I almost wish I had a picture of the thing. It is awful. It is like the worst thing that happened in gaming. It was like the virtual... Let me guess. Reality You're the bad guys. Helmet thing that I don't even know why Nintendo decided to come out with it. It, it was huge. It was like no! imagine kind You're of like a helmet sight. screen with like a a few goggles in between. Well, a few screens in between, like the eye plate. This is where you run. And there you have the virtual boy. They don't really came out with 22 games, and about 14 of those were released in America. I don't remember how many were released from the other countries, and I don't really care because, well, it's a virtual boy. Who cares about the virtual boy? Um. Be smarter than you look and run. That's really all I have to say about it. Um. Thing I forgot, the um, Super Nintendo was actually released in Australia and a few you other countries in 1987, I believe. I'm wanting to say 1987. Alright guys, later. Wow, that was the, that had to have been the world's worst lecture. The hunt is on. Justice will be so 
you're the bad guys. Street. 